Uh, hello friends. Uh, first of all, the principle of Loris method. Uh, Loris reagent contains copper sulfate in which copper exists as divalent Cu2 plus cupric cation, uh, which reacts with the protein uh, that is peptide nitrogen in protein to give rise to uh, monovalent Cu1 plus cuprous cation, which uh, uh, eventually reacts with the folin Cu-calcium reagent, which contains phosphotungstic acid and phosphomolybdic acid, which gets reduced as well as some of the amino acids like uh, uh, tyrosine, tryptophan and, and, uh, and uh, cysteine gets oxidized and finally an intense blue color is developed which is called molybdenum blue and that can be read at 660 nanometers using a colorimeter. Now it should be noted that uh, uh, Loris method is uh, 100 times more sensitive uh, than Biorat method in detecting uh, minute quantities of uh, protein so this is always a better method. Uh, now we can see the uh, reagents involved in uh, Loris uh, method. In quantitative assays, standard is needed and here protein BSA of 25 mg in 100 ml 0.1 normal NaOH is used. Standard is needed to assay unknown concentrations of protein solutions and this is used to make serial dilution of standards. To unknown concentrations of protein that is solutions, the concentration of which are to be found out are used. Then Lori A, sodium carbonate in 0.1 normal NaOH, Lori B, copper sulfate in sodium potassium tartrate. And uh, alkaline reagent or reagency, Lori A and Lori B mixed uh, in 50 to 1 ratio prepared fresh and folin to calcium reagent uh, is also needed. And uh, further we need uh, a distilled water, 0.1 normal NaOH, uh, test tubes marked B for blank, standard tubes S1 to S5, T1, T2 for test, pipettes, colorimeter, etc. The procedure starts with the addition of working standard of uh, 0.25 mg per ml concentration to standard tubes marked S1 to S5. Added exactly 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1.0 ml of working standard to tubes marked S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5. Now uh, here accuracy of addition is very important in quantitative analysis for getting accurate results. Uh, 1 ml each of unknown test 1 and 2 are added to tubes marked T1 and T2 also. This is followed by addition of 0.1 normal NaOH to a blank 2 ml from S1 to S5 added 0.1 normal NaOH exactly 1.8, 1.6, 1.4, 1.2, 1.0 .1 ml. Now further 1 ml is added to T1 and T2 also. So all the tubes are now made up to 2 ml. Now, 5 ml of alkaline reagent, uh, Lori C, is added to all tubes. Lori C is uh, prepared fresh by mixing 50 ml of Lori A with 1 ml of Lori B. This uh, makes a total volume of 7 ml in all test tubes and this is incubated at room temperature for 15 minutes. After incubation, 0.5 ml folin reagent is added to all tubes. Fallen reagent is actually prepared fresh by mixing distilled water and fallen reagent in 1 is to 1 ratio. Tubes are shaken well and incubated at room temperature for 30 minutes. And after incubation, a deep blue color is developed as you can see. And the readings are taken at 660 nanometers. This is the observation table. You can see the volume of reagents added given in the first column. In the last row, ODs of standards and test T1 are given. In the second row, amount of standards added are given in red color, which is actually the value of the standard concentration, 0.25 mg per ml, multiplied by volume of standard added in mLs to each of the standard tube. And this is explained in footnote asterisk. And we are using the values of standard S5, ODs of S5 and T1 for further calculations. You may pause this and study it well. Now the calculation. Concentration of protein is equal to OD of test T1 divided by OD of standard S5 multiplied by amount of standard S5 divided by uh, volume of test T1. 
and this uh, is equal to 0.216 milligram per ml uh, which is multiplied by 100 gives a concentration of 21.6 milligram per 100 ml. Now uh, finding result from graph. The, uh, the non-fixed concentration standards are taken on x-axis and the corresponding uh, ODs are taken on y-axis. The spots uh, can be uh, made like this and it, it can be connected uh, using a co. The y-intercept uh, is also made. So the co includes uh, the zero point also as we can see. It's a straight line and from this uh, graph uh, we can find out the value of T1. From the OD of T1 that is 0.26 we get a concentration of 0.216 milligram per ml. This can be multiplied by 100 to give a concentration of 21.6 milligram per 100 ml. Uh, so this is how we calculate the result using a graph as well as using a uh, calculation formula. Uh, Theoretically, both the results should be exactly the same, uh, provided you make the additions correctly. Uh, but sometimes uh, it may be different. Uh, this is primarily due to a, a lack of accuracy of a colorimeter, uh, unlike spectrophotometer, because it do not show the third decimal digit. Colorimeter do not show uh, the third decimal digit, unlike spectrophotometer. Uh, uh, for example, a value of 0 0.08 given in uh, um, colorimeter may have an actual absorbance of 0 0.076 or 0 0.084. So this error uh, can be carried to a spots taken in a graph. So that's the difference. Uh, but this there is no excuse if you are using a spectrophotometer. Uh, in our experiment, the second test T2 uh, had an absorbance of uh, uh, 0 0.19. Now you can calculate the results yourselves uh, using the data that is available to us. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you very much.